Good evening, everyone. Doug Dunbar. We're going to get underway tonight with breaking news out of West Texas. At least five people dead tonight. 21 are hurt after a mass shooting this afternoon in the Midland Odessa area, just about 300 miles or so west of Dallas Fort Worth. The shooter tonight identified simply as a man in his 30s. He was later shot and killed by police. Kenneth Craig gets us underway with details on what happened. We have at least 21 victims, 21 shooting victims and at least five deceased at this point in time. The gunman was killed later in a shootout with police at a movie theater. Police say the attacks began with a traffic stop on a highway and the driver shot at an officer. The suspect stole a postal truck and began firing randomly. An exchange of gunfire happened and that subject is deceased at that location. This was a joint effort by just a multitude of, of departments to find this animal and bring him to justice. A bystander caught on video the there's moments before the suspect there. was killed. Texas. Oh, God, they're shooting right there. Oh, he hits the barrier. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Stand still. He's shooting him, he's shooting him. Oh, he's killed him, he killed him. Uh, we're just seeing people. Oh. CBS affiliate KOSA was on the air broadcasting from a local mall when they were forced to evacuate during the frantic search for the gunman. Police said they are still searching for a motive. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. And the three officers I mentioned among those shot, one tonight in serious condition we know of. The other two, we have not been updated on their conditions, but we're awaiting word. Our team coverage continues now with our Ken Molasina in studio with us tonight, keeping a close eye on any new information that's rolling in at this hour. Ken, what are you hearing? Uh, Doug, so there's going to be a lot of information coming in now between now uh, and the next hour here. We want to get you updated uh, on a couple of things that we heard from Texas DPS officials because they sent out a statement just a little bit ago. Uh, so we want to begin with a chronological order uh, according to DPS. They say all of this happened just after three today. We're told uh, DPS troopers again, they tried to stop a gold car on I-20 westbound near mile marker 131. That's near Midland. That driver then, we're told, began shooting a rifle towards those DPS uh, troopers uh, into their patrol car. There were two troopers inside. Uh, some of the aftermath was caught by a nearby witness. Have a look at this. Get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Stand still. So clearly there was some gunfire there. Uh, as we told you, one trooper was hit, taken to the hospital, listed in serious but stable condition as of last check, according to DPS. The suspect uh, then, after uh, shooting at the DPS troopers, continued shooting innocent people, and that included a Midland police officer and an Odessa police officer. So if you're keeping total here, three law enforcement officials shot all together, one DPS, one Midland police officer, and one Odessa police officer as well. We spoke to a Fort Worth woman earlier who was in Odessa at the time. Here's what she had to say. All you saw were police officers flying left and right, uh, heading like going going east to I-20, which is like from here. I'm looking out the window. I-20 is right there. It's not even not even two blocks from where I'm at. I could see everything there. Um, just heading down the freeway and telling people to stay off the freeway. 21 uh, in total have been injured uh, as of last check. Uh, again, five deaths are being confirmed, being reported. The shooter, we know, uh, was later chased down to an area outside of a movie theater where he was shot and killed by police officers. And again, at this point, the shooter's identity uh, is unknown. Doug, uh, but I'll be join joining you throughout the hour here trying to get you new details just as we get it in the newsroom. Okay, anything trickles in, get back to us, Ken. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, President Trump did tweet earlier today. He said, quote, just briefed by Attorney General Bar about the shootings in Texas. FBI and law enforcement is fully engaged, he says. More to follow. Again, that from the president. Texas Governor Greg Abbott also said that he is going to travel to Odessa tomorrow. The governor released a statement this evening saying, The First Lady and I are heartbroken over this senseless and cowardly attack. We offer our unwavering support to the victims, their families, and all of the people of Midland and Odessa. In fact, the governor led a meeting in Austin just yesterday with his domestic terrorism task force. Our Jack Fink was there. He was covering the meeting. We're going to speak with Jack just ahead in this newscast about what was talked about yesterday to combat this increasing violence. We'll continue to follow the story, of course, throughout the newscast, get you any new information as quickly as it comes in. 